In this brief how-to video, we're going to walk through a couple of simple examples on how you can supply spreadsheet information to us for printing. Supplying the spreadsheet as close as possible to the final print version is incredibly important. It ensures that the file goes through our systems with an increased level of efficiency and accuracy, and we don't need to intervene or modify the file in any way as it goes through our production process. The first example is a standard name tag that you may see at a conference or a convention. It has a logo as well as a first name and last name, and a company as part of the spreadsheet. At this stage, forget about the logo. This is something that we'll complete on our end. If, if we look at the spreadsheet, this is an example of what is unacceptable. The first name and last name are in the same cell. The important thing to remember here is that each line on the tag is represented by its own cell in the spreadsheet. So if we look at the corrected version of the spreadsheet, you can see that the first name and the last name have been separated into their own cells, giving us one cell of information for each line on the tag. The way that the spreadsheet is laid out is also quite important. And here we can see that each column has been given an easily identifiable heading. At this stage, it's also wise to check your spelling before submitting the final order. We're now going to save the file out as a CSV file or a comma separated value. To do this, simply go to the Save As function on your version of Excel and choose CSV or comma delimited from this drop down here. Give it an easily identifiable name and hit Save. Be sure to read these prompts here just in case you have any formulas that are still uh, held within the spreadsheet. If we move over to our second example now, this tag has a lot more information relevant to a mob management application. If we jump over into the spreadsheet, I'll point out a couple of common mistakes that we see with spreadsheets in these scenarios. Firstly, here we can see that there are a number of colours supplied in the same spreadsheet, yellow and red. Each spreadsheet is treated as a separate job as it goes through our system, and therefore each colour must have its own sheet and CSV file when supplied to us for printing. Secondly, we can see that there is a quantity field that calls for multiple quantities for that line. This needs to be split. If there are two tags required, like in this example, there must be a line for each tag. And finally, the tag info on the example there on the left shows the word block, dem and sire printed on the tag. If this info is required to be printed on the tag, it must also be included in the cell with the information in the spreadsheet. So let's put all of that together and have a look at the corrected version of the spreadsheet. So to recap, each colour has been separated out so that it has its own spreadsheet with the colour listed below. So here we can see the one for yellow and red. Each tag requiring multiple quantities has been duplicated so that each tag has its own line. So here are the two for Sci4 as mentioned in the first spreadsheet. And the block, dam and sire info has been added to the start of each cell. Once completed, as per example 1, simply save the CSVs out, name them accordingly and email them through to one of our friendly customer service staff.